let's just jump right in and today I'm going to play with some cement now this is rockite expansion cement uh, it dries in 15 minutes and I got this from Amazon I'll link that below in the description box and I actually did another project with this another video if you are a member of my buy me a coffee page you saw that video over there last week but if not you will see this for the first time here me using this and I'm also going to be using a resin mold from today's sponsor one day saving they reached out to me to collaborate and I was like uh, yes please because they have some great resin molds and I will give you some more information about them in just a little bit so let's jump in and take a look at this rock height and make this mold now in my fervor to get my stuff out <laughs> I did not unbox I forgot to record my unboxing so but I didn't open it so we're gonna do that right here <laughs> so yes I was so excited uh, they're really great now as you can tell this is a moon it's a gorgeous crescent moon shape and it's a tea light holder if you can tell there the tea light would go in there and it's got two pieces to it uh, the secondary piece is to create the little cuppy bit on the inside for the tea light so we'll pop that in there and that's how we're going to do it I'm thinking though however you probably could take it out and mold it with that flat surface there and set a tea light on there as well or you know just use it as a flat surface for something else you know sit rings on or something like that I don't know either way you could do it I'm, I suppose either way you wanted to but we're just gonna go with it so <laughs> the next part to this uh, after I assemble the mold just like this here and uh, set that over to the side is get this rockite mixed up now I've got a cool whip container and a spoon um, it says to mix rockite with enough water to get the consistency that you want um, and you can make it pretty thin and it'll set up so yeah let's have a go at this shall we right so what I'm going to do now is open up my box and get some of this stuff out um, as I'm as I'm opening this box I'm realizing I'm about half out of it so I'm gonna need to get more because this stuff is really nice I I'm in love with this product already but yeah so using my super scientific method of measuring with a uh, was this a Del Monte fruit cup <laughs> just put a bunch of that in there um, and let me tell you it does not require much water I made that mistake I'm not too worried about the excess because I will pour it off in another mold that I already have sitting here but yeah <laughs> That's how I figured out you can make it thin and it'll set up. So to add a little bit of water and I kind of want to make it like a pancake batter. It said I, not a lot of water. I think I used maybe a quarter of a cup or so, something like that. Um, but this is more like cookie dough or cake, yeah, brownie mix consistency but I want you know I want pancake batter nice and smooth which is fine um yeah a little bit more about a tablespoon I think something like that a couple drops whatever <laughs> so get it stirring and as you can see now it's super runny but that's good but that's okay um and this powder is very very fine okay um if you get it and you're using it make sure to wear a mask uh, i forgot to put mine on and um yeah i could taste it so don't do that <laughs> it tastes very good <laughs> yeah so yeah see that all it's all nice and runny there um and yes it, it will set up it will set up just fine um this kind of this stuff kind of acts almost like a roux 
you know, like when you're making sauce or, or gravy, you've got your, your melted butter and you've got your, your flour or your cornstarch, whatever you use, and then you add your liquid, right? The more you stir, cook it, the thicker it gets. Well, this kind of does the same thing. And as it's curing, it does get hot. So there's, you know, that chemical reaction that's going on. It heats up. And it's already, it, it may not look it on camera. It's already starting to thicken up a little, though. I could feel it as I was stirring. And you will see in another shot that it is, yeah, visibly thicker than it was there just a couple of seconds ago, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's see if I made enough. <laughs> First of all, I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> um, and just gently pour that in. This mold's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere, but I'm slowly pouring anyway to A, not knock it over, and B, try to minimize air pockets or air bubbles, which I did not really have much of that going on. And there it is. So uh, I'm going to let that set up. It says it takes 15 minutes, but I'm going to go for a little while, run an errand and come back and then take a look. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's uh, unmold this moon, shall we? This is a pain. It's a pain, let me tell you. I'm not going to have you guys sit and watch me fight with this. Suffice it to say, it took me a while. And what you're seeing, if I even leave what I've edited out, or what I've got in here now that I've already edited once, if I just leave it, it's still, <laughs> yeah, longer than the video is going to be. So <laughs> how about I just jump ahead? And there it is, out of the mold, finally. It it needs a little bit of sanding around that edge there, but otherwise it is perfect. It is so smooth. And it's shiny. It's, it, it's cement, and it's shiny and smooth. And I am obsessed with this. I am just obsessed with it, okay? I love this so much. I'm just going to jump ahead. I'm just going to jump off of here and go make a second one, right? I'm, I'm, that's it. I, as soon as I pulled it out of the mold, I was like, nope, stop. Got to make another one. So I'm going to make another one. But first, I want to tell you about my sponsor for today, One Day Saving. This site has so much arts and crafts stuff. They, man, they seem to, mostly feature diamond painting okay which is great which is great they also have a ton of other stuff too as you can see we have diamond painting we have a uh, cross stitch we have what's this other diamond crafts we've got resin molds we've got nail art we've got puzzles we've got paint by numbers uh just i saw that moon and i was just like i'm hooked okay the site is awesome so they have a special spring code just for you guys my subscribers the first 500 of you will get five dollars off of your purchase okay all the details are down in my description box but use spring five for your code to get five dollars off um but yeah check that out and I want to see how these both look. So let's, I love them. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my God. <laughs> yes, they're stunning. They're stunning. Um, I did get tiny little air pockets in the very tippy top ends of those, you know, those points of those moons, but otherwise, and, and a little bit of that flashing there around where that, uh, that tea light uh, cup is, but otherwise, they're perfect. They're smooth and shiny and just, oh God, I love them. I'm not, I don't paint them. I don't do anything else to them. So <laughs> let's take a look at how they look after I stage them and set them up with pretty, okay? Here I have it with just a faux succulent in there. And this is 
probably going to be my preferred way to use these because I like my faux succulents and I think this looks super pretty. But to each their own and if you like to use a candle you can use a candle which it looks very good with the candle too and I'm just using a cute little battery operated tea light and it's still so pretty. You guys let me know in the comments below which one would you use? Would you use a little plant or would you use a candle? Don't forget to check out the description box for all the YouTube goodness, the coupon code and the link and all of the information to today's sponsor, One Day Saving. Thank you guys again for that. It's all down there in that description box. If you liked today's content, would you consider subscribing? And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post my new videos on Saturdays. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care, y'all. Bye.